welcome back to the channel. We have a ton of work to do this week. We have all this fox block here that we have to get in. Uh, but before we do that, we have to get down there in the uh, foundation, strip all these forms off, uh, put out our, our measurements, our chalk lines, and we can finally start assembling this uh, fox box here. Uh, that's a pretty fun, uh, fun process to do that. So we'll go ahead and show you a little detail of how we're getting that one done. And we'll have some concrete coming. Uh, get these uh, forms filled up with concrete and it's going to be finally ready to put the uh, the deck on this and put all the uh, the girders in and joists and all that fun stuff. But before I get ahead of myself, we're just going to go right down to the hole there and get to work. So let's go. So now forms are taking off. That's definitely a pretty simple task there. Got those taken off and uh, put the lumber in the middle there. We'll use that on a later step. Kind of reuse that a bit. But uh, next thing is to get this uh, fox box down here. And we go ahead and we always just start with the uh, corners first and then build our way in. But we'll start on, uh, we'll have one in this corner. And this is a long straight wall, one in that corner. And then we'll put a long straight wall along there because those are our two straight walls. And then we'll take your measurements off those two walls and get this uh, block put up here and make sure all the uh, measurements are, are right and uh, everything's going where it should be. So time to go up there, get a fox block and bring it down here and start uh, getting assembled. So getting these outside corners put on there and we took some extra time uh, doing the forms just to make sure these are perfect, exact, and that definitely makes this, uh, this step here a lot easier, but got the uh, outside corners on, uh, measured between the uh, two blocks there, the two corners, and then uh, went ahead and snapped a, uh, a string line, so the, the chalk line all the way down there. So we'll know our, we'll put that first row of blocks on there, and that's going to be straight. And we're putting these blocks on. It's always good to start on the uh, two corners and work your way towards the middle. Moments later, and one one block tall on one side complete. So that's about forty feet of wall in about five minutes. So I just start from the outside, and here when I get to the inside, just had a a thirty-six inch piece there, which is kind of right there. That's where where my seam is there. But I just came here with the uh, circular saw and just cut it down the middle and put it in there. It's a pretty easy, easy process here. And uh, the next row will, of course, go on top of that seam there. I think a fox block, they say you don't need to do that, but I like to uh, stagger the seams. So that one is done. Now we're going to move over to this next uh, long wall there, which is uh, 32 feet. So I'll time that one. I bet that'll take maybe five minutes to put that one together. Long wall is done. I thought I'd take five minutes. I was wrong, it took me five minutes and 30 seconds. But same thing, corner to corner, and then cut a small piece out there for the middle. So now on to this next wall. This one's gonna take a little bit longer because I have to do some little, little zigzag stuff in there, but we'll get that part. And there you go. First row of blocks is put up. Uh, it's probably the hard one because you have to get all the measurements right. But once you get the first row down, then all the other rows above that go a lot quicker, a lot easier. Uh, so now we have this first row down, we'll come back with the uh, rebar and put the uh, strand of rebar down there and then go ahead and get the uh, second row 
of block put in. That's right there is getting the rebar in there already. And we'll get that tied into the block there. And we'll also have some of these uh, vertical rebars there. And we'll, we'll tie the block off to the uh, vertical rebar too so things don't move around. But it's a uh, bit of a heat wave today. So we're gonna try to get this rebar done uh, before it gets any hotter. All right, so this is how we're gonna be starting the next uh, row of blocks here. So we can kind of uh, stagger our seams here. See this block here it has the uh, short corner and then this one's the uh, longer end. On this one, we're gonna just flip that over the other way around. So then the uh, longer part here is overlapping that joint there. And then it just all, just, I don't know what this does. It just, it just snaps together. Simple, simple. But I guess before you put that one on there, you want to get some, you want to get this tied down. I don't want to get that covered up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so with, with these wire tires, pretty simple. I'm just doing it at the edge right here, like on the church. Just tie tie these little plastic uh, pieces in there to the rebar. Get the vertical rebar. Tie that together, and it makes it all all pretty strong. And this is six inch wide uh, ICF, so we, we don't need a lot of a lot of rebar in there. We have nice thick footers in there, and it's all built on real nice solid ground, so not too worried about this stuff moving or cracking or anything like that. They, they stick together just kind of like Lego pieces. That seam does line up with that one. So we're good. Now we can start on that corner and move it over. Yeah, just like laying bricks. So move this one around because this side is the long corner. So line up the short corner. And that's together. Now I start laying the blocks out in between. Uh, this is the part there where I have the uh, seam from before. So when I put this next uh, block on it, they might not line up too well. So sometimes if they don't line up, then I just have to kind of cut down some of those little little tabs there. It'll all line up. That's why the reason that Fox box says don't don't worry about uh, staggering your your middle seams because it takes it takes too much time to do it, but. Here, we have nothing but time. Uh, actually, they, you can see that they, they might line up pretty well. Maybe the backside needs, needs some teeth taken out. Let's see if we go together. Oh good, we got lucky in that one.
This is gonna be a pretty nice crawl space here. These are crawl spaces we do about 24 inches tall. Uh, this one's gonna be about 40 inches up to here. This, these uh, plumbers, electricians, they're gonna be they're gonna be happy doing this house for us. We'll do that about 32 inches. But from this this side to this side, I don't know if that's gonna line up too well. But let's cut a block and see what we come out with. All right, back to work. Left my pencil somewhere. There you go. Thirty twos on that line. So it's the next day here. Yesterday we went ahead and got the blocks all the way around. So now our crawl space is complete. And then went ahead and uh, measured where these little uh, little blocks are gonna go. So these are the uh, the girders that are gonna go all the way across from side to side. It's gonna rest on these uh, these small forms there in the middle. But then also what I'm doing here is I'm going up to the uh, block here. And I'm gonna cut this, cut this little hole out there to make a little insert. Put the block in there. So then when we pour pour concrete, that block will come out, and there'll be the empty void in the back there. The block will probably be in there about three inches. So then uh, when concrete's dry, that can come out, and our girders can sit in the pocket there. Be supported by the uh, outside foundation and then run all the way across the other side that's kind of what i'm working on now is getting those cut out he's over there getting the uh, rebar tied off and uh, yeah after that we will go ahead and get some of this lumber that's on the inside here and that's going to go on the outside of the forms all the way around just kind of uh, hold it together a little bit and we'll put some extra supports on the uh on the seams where the uh, the blocks are cut out for the middle there and we'll go from there and there we go got those little uh, wood strips put all the way around and we put a little little strips on the uh, outside where the seams are to get those uh, held together go down there did a little extra support on the corner there to keep that together um, cut up the little spaces for the blocks put those blocks in and uh, kind of do double checked everything and this uh, foundation now is ready for concrete. So that's the next step. And I'll, uh, I'll hop down there and show you a little bit more of the uh, foundation here. So down here at the uh, foundation, I always put these blocks across the, uh, the smaller blocks there that were just the, uh, the little inside pieces. So they're just cut a little bit shorter. Maybe they don't really hold together that well. Uh, put this wood band around it, as you saw from up on the hill. I don't know if that's something necessary, but it definitely makes this wall 10 times stronger. And uh, pouring this concrete, I don't have to worry that it's gonna 
fall apart or tip over, something like that. And on the blocks here, see so we just cut the holes out and it's sitting back here uh, three inches on top of the concrete. And that'll go across the other side there. And that's gonna hold those, uh, those girders up real nice. Put the bars on the outside, that helped to get these walls super straight. And this corner here, it's not the uh, regular corner. It's uh, we kinda had to do a corner and then a straight one meeting the corner and then just uh, fill in the outside and put a whole bunch of support on that to keep it from, from blowing out. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. There's nothing left to do. Next thing is concrete. So I will see you right back here when the uh, concrete's here. And we are back on the job site here. It's been a couple days since we were able to work here. We had to get on the schedule of the concrete pump uh, because that conveyor truck, it wasn't quite long enough to get to the backside there. And the uh, concrete company's big pump truck, that thing is just way too expensive. So we have a, a small Tobel uh, concrete pump that's coming. He should be here any minute. And that's going to be uh, able to allow us to get the, the concrete all the way around here. Uh, if we had the uh, conveyor truck, which I originally planned, we'd probably be out here with uh, shovels and buckets trying to pour it into these walls here. And that's just, uh, that's not going to work. So the uh, pump truck is uh, coming here pretty soon might be coming now uh, concrete's on the way so let's uh, wait a little bit and uh, then we can get to work here and get some concrete uh, in the walls So a little close up here now that the uh, concrete is all done. Uh, it's kind of, it's already curing here. It's already pretty, pretty hard. I guess you can kind of still work a little bit, but got the anchor bolts in there uh, all the way around. And I'll show you here on the inside. Got those uh, blocks taken out 
and the inside there we've got that nice and smoothed up so the uh the beams will fit in there really nice but that'll be for the next one yeah it's uh starting to rain now so i think i'm gonna go go ahead and get this finished up here all right well i'm gonna try to make this quick because it's raining now and it's gonna be pouring rain in a couple of minutes so i'm gonna try to get this done quick but the concrete it's uh is done here that's why the smoothest pour i've ever been a part of that concrete pump was just made all the difference here and the guy operating it he really knows, knew what he's doing and it's always nice to work with people that know what they're doing because i am not a concrete guy at all but it's all right that it's uh, raining now because this concrete it's been uh, it's been drying here for probably about an hour now and that's plenty of time for it to uh, get rained on uh, we went ahead and put the anchor bolts in and the little wood pieces there for the uh, beams to sit in we took those out and kind of smoothed up the inside so those are looking real nice um yeah so that's that's perfect it's raining now so uh again everyone thank you so much for watching and i will see you right here for the next one thanks <laughs>